Hey guys, welcome back to part 3 of the Decker tutorial. In the last two videos we already learned quite a lot of difficult stuff, so let's quickly recap what we did so far. We created a car class that needs an engine and wheels. Or in other words, engine and wheels are dependencies of car. And we said that instead of creating these dependencies inside the car class, we should pass them over the constructor, or in other words, inject them. And by annotating the constructor with add inject, we ask Decker to provide these dependencies. So we don't have to pass them to the constructor ourselves and save a lot of boilerplate code that we would otherwise have to write. This whole process is what we refer to as constructor injection. And this way we also tell Decker how it can create instances of this class. So Decker can provide an object of this whenever it is needed. This is why we also annotated the constructors of engine and wheels with add inject, even though they don't have any dependencies themselves that have to be satisfied. But by annotating these constructors as well, Decker knows how to create engine, how to create wheels, and it knows that it has to pass them to a, the car constructor when it needs to create a car. If any of these three inject annotations would be missing, Decker wouldn't know how to create a car. And generally you should use constructor injection whenever possible, because it makes this whole process pretty simple. But there are different situations when constructor injection is not possible or not sufficient, and we will learn about these situations throughout the series. We also say that you could imagine that Decker internally creates a graph, because it knows in what order it has to create these classes and where it has to put them. But of course at some point we had to access this object graph, and for this we had to create a component. This is our access point, without it Decker wouldn't work. And by creating the so-called provision method with a car as the return type, we declared that we want to have a fully injected, fully functional car provided by Decker. This is what we want to get from our object graph later. But we did not create the body for this method, we just declared it. This means we don't tell Decker how exactly it has to create a car, we just told it that we want a car and where it can find all the necessary parts. And Decker then automatically generates the implementation for this class and this method through a mechanism called annotation processing. And this is why we have to put this add component annotation on this interface. The code for this class is then automatically generated when we compile the project. And this is also the moment when Decker verifies that everything is set up properly. And after we clicked compile, we then had this Decker car component available, which contains the implementation for our car component interface. And on this component, we could then just call our get car provision method and get our fully functional, fully injected car. And this saves us from a lot of boilerplate code, because we don't have to instantiate all the necessary classes ourselves. But there is also another way how we can get our car into our main activity, which is called field injection or members injection. And this is what we will learn about in this video. For this we delete our get car method call here. And instead we annotate our car member variable with add inject to tell Decker that we want this car variable to be injected with a car object. So let's run it like this and see what happens. And we get an error message. Decker does not support injection into private fields. This is the first important part here. For field injection we can't make the member variable private, because otherwise our component can later not access this variable. And it can also not be final, because we want to change its value obviously. Okay, so we deleted the private keyword, let's try it again. This time Dagger compiled, but we have a null pointer exception in our car.drive call, which means that our car variable is still null. So this didn't work yet. Because this variable is not injected automatically, even though we annotated it with add inject. This is not enough. We have to do one more step. For this we have to go into our car component interface again and add another method. We could delete get car because we don't need it right now, but I will leave it in if you want to take a look at the code later. And now we add another method with void as the return type and we call it inject and pass one argument, a main activity, and we call it main activity. Again no method body because it's just an interface. Then we go back into our main activity and after creating our component we call component.inject and we pass the activity itself with this. Let's try it again. And we can see a car driving, our log message, so it works again. This process is called field injection. And by calling inject, we tell Decker to take our activity, 
and inject the member variables which are annotated with add inject. The benefit of this is that you can add multiple member variables and just have to call this one method instead of calling a provision method for each separate field. But which one you want to use depends on your particular use case. But it's important to note that you can't declare this argument as the superclass. So we could not just pass app commit activity or activity here. We have to declare directly as a main activity, which means that if we later have a different activity, we have to create a separate inject method for it. Again, the name of the method doesn't matter, but inject makes sense because it describes what this method does. The important part is the argument. We could theoretically also use field injection to get our engine and wheels into the car object instead of passing them over the constructor. But this would have a lot of downsides. For example, we couldn't make these fields private anymore. And we would also hide these dependencies to the outside if they are not contained as constructor arguments. And again, if you have access to the constructor, you should use constructor injection and pass all the necessary dependencies as constructor arguments. And you can remember as a general rule, field injection is meant for framework types that the Android system instantiates, like activities and fragments. So we don't create our main activity object, which means that we can't do constructor injection into our main activity. This is why we inject the fields with this workaround. And now let's take a look into our Decker car component again, because it should have changed now. As you can see, we have some new stuff in here. And the interesting part is this inject method, which is overwritten from the one we created. This one calls inject main activity, which is this down here. And this calls this static inject car method on this members injector class it created, where it passes instance, which is our main activity, and a new car by calling the get car method. And when we look into this method, we see the reason why we couldn't make our car member variable private, because it needs to access this car on our main activity. So this is how you do a field injection on classes like activities and fragments. And it basically just means passing our activity to the component and ask it to please inject our annotated fields. This way we don't have to get other objects from provision methods. Okay, that's it for this video. Again, I would encourage you to take a look at the code in the description box. Play around with it yourself to understand it better. And don't forget to subscribe for upcoming parts of the Decker tutorial. Take care.